The New York grand jury will reconvene tomorrow to discuss whether former President Donald Trump should be indicted. ABC's Tim Pulliam has new t details about a federal probe into Trump's potential mishandling of classified documents. As a grand jury finalizes its criminal investigation into former President Donald Trump for alleged hush money payments made to porn star Stormy Daniels in the days before the 2016 election. Crews putting up barricades around Capitol Hill and at the Manhattan courthouse, where a grand jury will decide on potential charges soon. Trump urging his supporters to protest when he made unverified claims over the weekend that he would be arrested Tuesday in connection to the case. Demonstrators on both sides arriving to New York City. Just to voice her opinions as free Americans. Former Vice President Mike Pence on Tuesday urging people to stay home. The Constitution provides the right to peaceably assemble. Uh, but I think in this instance, I would discourage Americans from engaging in protests if, in fact, the former president is indicted. Experts say the alleged hush money payments may have violated campaign finance laws. Trump's legal team saying he paid Daniels to protect his family. Some top Republicans coming to Trump's defense. What we see before us is a political game being played. A separate investigation into the former president involving the potential mishandling of classified documents at his Florida home. A judge determining the special counsel has preliminary evidence Trump might have broken the law. Sources tell ABC News the former president may have committed criminal violations by knowingly misleading his attorney so they would file a sworn statement he knew was false. That sworn statement came in June when Trump's lawyers certified that a diligent search of his Mar-a-Lago estate determined he had turned over all the classified documents in his possession. An indictment from the grand jury could come as soon as Wednesday. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.